in a land not so different than our own, the Heartswell Domain stands tall against the armies of darkness. Illuminated by a saintly individual, no darkness could pierce his light. Until the Great War, upheaval to the Domain began, a battle between the forces of darkness and bringers of light. And midst the battle, the brave, saintly individual thrusted into a dimensional portal, left to face a new world, alone. Last time on Lavacraft, Saint Lavathar found himself thrust into a new world. He fought a wither, explored the end, and made some new friends. Well guys, now that we have shulker boxes and stuff, we can start grinding up my next session. But before I started on the next big project, I wanted to just take a little time and do some smaller stuff. So first off, I collected diamonds. There's a few more books that have been bought from my bookshop. But most importantly, I'm the only shop in this shopping district. So I decided, why don't I make some market stalls? Maybe sell them for a diamond each to get a little bit of money. But mostly just make a place for other people to set up little shops. So right next door, I'll show you guys in just a minute, I started setting up some market stalls. And one thing led to another and it became this whole big beautiful thing. So let me show you the market of many colors. Here is the main entrance right across from the shop. Ah, oh, llamas. Let me just take care of the, those guys real quick. Okay, this is the market of many colors. Let me free cam a bit to show you. Here's sort of the main entrance with some big wool pillars. Uh, I have some string lights, which Ro helped me come up with design for those. Many banners and patterns. Got some cool copper fountains, some cherry flower trees in the beginning for sort of a grand festival entrance. I really want to make it look like a festival or a carnival. Uh, it kind of got bigger <laughs> than I wanted. Each stall kind of has its own color and theme. I've claimed these two yellow ones in the middle here as just I, I've sell some golden carrots and then I'll put something else here. And yeah, it's, people can come buy each stall. For example, for one diamond, you can buy this blue section. For a second diamond, you can buy this one or a different one, whatever you want. Mix and match. But they're all set up with little decorations of plants. People can swap out the plants or the banners that they want. Kind of like I have done with the yellow one over here. Uh, I think I have a couple takers already. Yeah, Dyson's bought these two red ones. Rogue has bought these two black ones. He's selling Suspicious Stew. And if you notice, there should be music playing too. I have a little auto disc player down here hidden and it, it's set up with three different discs and just a simple design just to toggle through. I have, what is it, cat, relic, and yeah, relic, cat, and other side. The only really discs I have right now, so not a big deal. Let's see if I can put these in right. Hopefully they'll go on right. If not, I'll come back and fix it. But besides my intervention there, it's been running for a few days straight. No issues. Sometimes when you come through the nether or come from another dimension, if it's mid-track, you can't hear the sound till a new track starts. But I really like the market of many colors. I did a tree line in the back as well. Oh, I have some picnic tables here. I used armor stands to mess with. I think they look really nice for the little uh, picnic table umbrella thing. And there's some over here too. There's one here and there's even one right over here. I think there's four in total. And then I have some regular picnic tables in the front here, no umbrellas, just to kind of uh, make it nice. Some nice greenery, flowers, everything. I think it came out better than I was hoping. It was supposed to be just a little side project I was going to do off camera and it became this huge thing and I'm kind of bummed. I'm not able, I wasn't able to showcase the building process. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I, people have taken advantage of it already and it's looking great. But we do need to work on our next project is I need a lot of resources. I need to go and grind out for my next big build over my island. Uh, I think it's like 30,000 stone, 5,000 copper bulbs, 10,000 sand, all this big stuff for my big build. So let's go ahead and head over there and start grinding it right out. Cue the time-lapse music.
oh man, I've been grinding for hours. So at this point, I decided to take a break and me and Rogue went and explored an ancient ruin. I'm gonna show a few clips from that. <laughs> at least I saw some earlier. Oh crap. <laughs> he took forever to spawn him. Like I set one off, but he didn't spawn for a while. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. This might be easy. I see three shriekers, but no sensor. We are in the clear. Ha ha. Uh, books, cold, horse armor. Hmm. Overall, it was a lot of fun exploring the ancient city with Rogue. I got the ward template. No silence, unfortunately. But I did get ward. Uh, I got two of them here. And I also got these guys on my leggings. I got Swift Sneak 3. So those two things. No silence. Uh, a bunch of regen potions. Other than that, it was just, you know, junk stuff. But we went and split it all up. But... As you guys know, we were grinding out for a ton of stone. Let's go ahead and head back to that. Continue the time lapse. And here we have most of it dug out. <laughs> enough. Enough of it is dug out. I mean, this thing is massive. Um, yeah, about 30,000. Uh, you know, I got I got tons of stone here. I need it for stone brick. I need about 30,000 stone brick. So there's my stone. But, oh, I gotta stop falling. But I also need, like, other stone stuff, like slabs and, uh, where is it? Stairs. Uh, walls and stuff like that. I went ahead and got the other stuff I needed. I needed andesite and granite and that stuff. Uh, let's see. Chiseled. Um, I went ahead and got a bunch of sand. My sandstone. Uh, warp stairs. That was a pain to go get all those. And then the smaller stuff, you know, just decoration stuff. Uh, more decoration stuff. Copper bulbs, I mostly just went to a trial ruin and just grinded that out. So that's how I got those. And then decoration stuff for my windows, uh, lights and stuff, glass, and more stuff. Uh, and then this is just overflow stuff that I got from grinding out this big hole that I'm not going to keep. Well, I'm not going to use on the big bill, but I, I, I do want to keep. You notice there's a section there that Rogue came and stole my coal. I told, I said he could just take it since he helped me out with Agent City. And that, that was fine. But he, when he was going to town, I figured he'd just grab a couple and go. Looks like he missed some. But yeah. Also, if you guys notice, a lot of this was surrounded by water. Let me see if I can find it. Like, there's water on every side. I think I cleared out most of it. Yeah, there's a little bit of water left here. And I kept having to, like, clog that up and drain it and clog it and drain it. I think... Yeah, there's some water on that side, and then there's a big ravine. Yeah, this thing's all water, too, and that was a pain. That's why this isn't a perfect square and kind of, like, tailors off a bit, especially over here, because I just kept running into the water. It was such a pain. Uh, we'll eventually move this stuff all topside, but that that's going to be another day because I'm just done. I'm spent. Here's my exit out. But I do have everything I need to start the big time lapse. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do it today. Probably not going to do it this week. I'm, I'm just tired of grinding. Maybe I need a break from Minecraft. But we will build the big temple here. Unfortunately, when I was designing creative, it's a little bit bigger than I, 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 I went a little too big on it. It's not going to fit in the crater. See how there's this sort of crater here? So we're going to terraform this up and make it into a plateau. And we are going to put it on top of it. 
Um, it's probably going to be the biggest single structure I've ever made. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, we uh, did lots. Got, got everything we wanted done. And I think I'm going to call it there. Grinding is just, just kind of spent me. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Woo!